We're asked to evaluate the principal square roots using real numbers and enter DNE if not a real number. Referring to our notes below, the principal square root of a squared, where a squared is the number under the square root called the radicand, is equal to the non-negative number that when squared is equal to a squared. So we have the square root of a squared is equal to a, where a is greater than or equal to zero. We can also think of the square root as undoing the squaring or the exponent of two. Looking at a numerical example, the square root of four is equal to two because if we square two, we get the radicand of four. Or we can also write the square root of four as a square root of two times two, which equals the square root of two squared. And here the square root undoes the squaring, leaving us with one factor of two. Looking at our examples, first we have the square root of 49. And since seven times seven or seven squared is equal to 49, the square root of 49 is equal to seven. Again, this is equal to seven because if we square seven, we get the radicand of 49. Or if we want to show more detailed work, we can write the square root of 49 as the square root of seven times seven which is equal to the square root of seven squared. The square root undoes a squaring, leaving us with one factor of seven. Either way, the square root of 49 is equal to seven. Next we have negative, or the opposite of the square root of 81. And since nine times nine or nine squared is equal to 81, this is equal to the opposite of nine or negative nine. And again, the square root of 81 simplified to nine because nine squared is equal to 81. And it's negative here because the negative is out in front of the square root. Or showing more detailed work, we have the opposite of the square root of 81, which is equal to the opposite of the square root of nine times nine, which is equal to the opposite of the square root of nine squared. The square root undoes a squaring leaving us with negative nine. For our last example, we have the square root of negative 25. There is no non-negative real number squared equal to a negative number, or in this case, negative 25, and therefore this is not real, and we enter D and E. Whenever the radicand of a square root is negative, the result is never going to be real. I hope you found this helpful.